Because Andromeda is the closest galaxy to ours, scientists thought we'd discovered everything about it. However, a new discovery has recently shocked scientists, and it wasn't a small discovery either. A new massive structure has been discovered that managed to hide from the top researchers in the field. But what is it, and why is it so significant? Before exploring the new shocking discovery that a team of private astronomers found, it's important to explain what Andromeda is. The Andromeda Galaxy, officially known as Messier 31, is the closest neighboring galaxy to our Milky Way. The Andromeda is visible to the naked eye and can be seen in the night sky as a faint misty blur. It's located about 2.5 million light years from our own Milky Way, making it the most distant object that can be seen without using a telescope. For this reason, many hobbyists and professional astronomers have studied it thoroughly, making it one of the best-studied galaxies in our night sky. This goes for photographers as well, as Andromeda is a popular target for astrophotographers. Because of the high visibility of this galaxy, nobody expected it to have anything left to surprise scientists. But a private research group recently discovered something that nobody expected, and it's already taking the scientific world by storm. Although this galaxy has been photographed thousands of times by the best telescopes in the world, all of these photographs failed to find this new discovery. So what could have shocked scientists about the Andromeda Galaxy? Well, it turns out that the team of private astronomers discovered a huge cloud of gas hovering outside of the galaxy. This cloud stretches up to 500,000 light years across and is considered one of the largest objects in the night sky. This discovery shocked scientists because it was the first time something so large has been discovered right in front of our noses. And what's perhaps most shocking about this discovery is the fact that it wasn't discovered until now, despite the fact that Andromeda is one of the most studied galaxies in the night sky. With dozens of telescopes around the world and even in space, you might think that we've found all there is to discover. But this recent discovery proves that the night sky still holds a lot of mysteries. So who discovered this massive structure hovering near the Andromeda Galaxy? The surprising discovery was made by Marcel Drechler and Xavier Storotner, two private researchers. The two of them had a passion for astronomy and decided to use the latest digital detectors and take long exposures of certain areas of the sky in order to try and find fate nebulae. They eventually chose Andromeda as their target due to its proximity and size, but nobody expected what their research would discover. Because of the proximity of the Andromeda Galaxy and the fact that it was one of the best-studied galaxies, everybody thought that all of its secrets were already discovered. But this couldn't have been further from the truth. Once Marcel and Xavier decided to target Andromeda, they figured that they needed some help. And so they brought in Jan Senti, a French astrophotographer. With Jan's help, the team was able to discover the giant cloud of gas that had gone unnoticed for so long. But how did they go about doing this? When Senti sent the images to Drechler and Strotner for processing, the two of them noticed something peculiar about one of the photographs. They found a huge gas cloud that was almost as big as the Andromeda Galaxy itself. This cloud was only visible when Santi used a filter that blocked all light except for the blue-green glow emitted by doubly ionizing oxygen. This is an element that is commonly found in giant gas clouds, but nobody expected to find it in the Andromeda Galaxy. To make sure this wasn't an artifact in Santi's imagination, the team asked another amateur astronomer, Bray Falls, to observe the same area of the sky. It couldn't be a new discovery after all. The two men believed that it must have been just a reflection of the light from their telescope. But when Bray Falls took his own photographs, he found the same cloud in his data. This was enough to prove that this wasn't an artifact, but a real discovery that had gone unnoticed for so long. And so these men realized that what they had discovered wasn't just a camera glitch, it was something that had already been found. They had discovered something new about the neighboring Andromeda galaxy. To make absolutely sure, however, these men contacted researchers from around the globe. Over the course of some time, they collected data from five telescopes in different countries, and this helped them to confirm the discovery. Although the observation has been confirmed, scientists are still unsure what to make of the discovery. They've looked at different possibilities, but none have provided them with a clear answer. At this point, the only thing that's certain is that the cloud must be connected to the Andromeda galaxy in some way. 
but there are several theories as to why it hasn't been seen before now. It could be part of the Andromeda Galaxy's halo, which is a large collection of stars that surround the main body. It could also be gas that was flung off by the stars that make up the halo. But if this is the case, then astronomers should have seen more hydrogen in the cloud since it's a major component of stars. Surprisingly, however, there was very little or none of this element present. Another possible explanation is that Andromeda is moving towards our Milky Way and SDSO1 is located between the two. This could mean that the diffuse gas from both galaxy halos has compressed to form a curved structure, like a bow wave from a ship in the water. But if this is the case, then why does it appear so close to Andromeda? It should be located much closer to the center of our Milky Way. This also doesn't explain why there is so little hydrogen in the gas cloud. On that note, it's actually possible that the cloud is far closer to us and only appears coincidentally near Andromeda. Planetary nebulae are shells of gas cast off by dying stars, usually containing both hydrogen and oxygen. If the central star is energizing the gas, then these nebulae tend to shine brightly in light emitted by both elements. This could explain the lack of hydrogen in SDSO1. This could also mean that it's the remains of a Milky Way star that exploded as a supernova, but then it should show up in ultraviolet and radio waves. However, searching for older observations of Andromeda reveals nothing from the cloud at any other wavelength, including X-rays and visible and infrared light. So the mystery goes on, with no known mechanism fitting all the data. Still, the theory that scientists are most confident about is the fact that this is a cloud of gas that has been connected to the Andromeda galaxy in some way. The fact that something so big and strange has gone unnoticed until now is astonishing. But why didn't astronomers spot it before? Well, the answer to this question is twofold. First of all, the cloud was too faint and diffuse to be noticed by even the most powerful telescopes. It's located close to the plane of our Milky Way, so there's a lot of light pollution in that area which makes it hard to spot smaller structures. What made the cloud incredibly hard to spot, however, wasn't how faint it would be. It was the fact that the cloud could only be seen through one specific type of light emission. The cloud is composed mostly of doubly ionized oxygen, which can only be seen when using a specific filter. But the real kicker was that no astronomer had ever looked for this type of light before. This is because these kinds of filters are quite rare and they're often used to search for gas clouds. Scientists have been using other filters to observe Andromeda in its halo, but this was never utilized. The recently discovered cloud of gas near the Andromeda galaxy is an amazing discovery that has shocked the entire scientific community. This new discovery was made by a team of private astronomers led by Marcel Dreschler and Xavier Sprotner, who used the latest digital detectors to take long exposures of the sky. The cloud is 500,000 light years across and consists mostly of doubly ionized oxygen. But so far, scientists are still unsure of what the cloud actually is or how it got there. Nevertheless, this discovery proves that even our closest and best observed galaxies can still hold secrets. What else do you think scientists and amateur astronomers will find in the night sky? Let us know in your comments and we'll see you in the next video.